Today more than ever, food safety is crucial. And now you have a simple, reliable way to help ensure it. The Back System Q7. The Back System uses PCR technology to test food for pathogens and other unwanted organisms. The easy step-by-step -step process amplifies or replicates specific fragments of bacterial DNA to enhance detection. This makes it quick and simple to test for pathogenic bacteria in food and gives your organization the capability it needs to help ensure food safety. All living organisms have DNA in their cells. Each organism's DNA is unique. This presents a highly accurate means of identifying bacteria. But to do so, a specified fragment of the target bacterial DNA has to be isolated and amplified to detectable levels. The back system accomplishes this with the polymerase chain reaction, or PCR. When the sample DNA is combined with DNA polymerase, nucleotides, primers, and target-specific dye in the back system PCR tablets, this mixture contains everything required for PCR. The mixture goes through a series of timed heating and cooling cycles. Heating breaks down the DNA. As temperature rises, double-stranded DNA separates into single strands. For standard back system assays, the primers anneal to the targeted segment of the single-stranded DNA. Then, the polymerase uses the nucleotides to extend the primers. As the new DNA copy is created, the dye binds to the double strands, causing it to emit a fluorescent signal. At the end of the first cycle, two new fragments are formed. With each successive round of heating, binding, and extending, each existing fragment splits to form two new fragments. This creates millions of copies of the target DNA fragments in a very short time. After DNA amplification, the temperature of the samples is raised again to the point where the DNA strands separate. This releases the dye and lowers the fluorescent signal. The back system measures the change in this fluorescent signal. The measured change in fluorescence is used by the back system software to create a melt curve and determine positive or negative results. For these assays, the whole process takes about three and a half hours. For real-time assays, detection in the back system works a little differently. The PCR tablets in real-time assays contain one of two different types of target-specific probes. These probes contain a reporter dye on one end and quencher dye on the other end. When these dyes are close together, the quencher dye reduces the fluorescent signal of the reporter dye. During replication, the real-time probes bind to the single-stranded DNA. The polymerase uses the nucleotides to extend the primer, which reaches the probe and cleaves the reporter dye from the quencher. Once the reporter dye is separated from the quencher, the fluorescent signal increases to detectable levels. The back system then uses dye-specific filters to measure this signal at the end of each cycle and report positive or negative results for each target in the assay. Real-time assay results are available in about one hour. To understand more about the process, refer to the Back System Q7 User Guide.